Welcome to Creeper World 4. Now, this is the demo, and the game isn't coming out till quarter two of 2021 or earlier, they say, so technically that could mean tomorrow. But quarter two is like April to June of 2021. That's like almost a year away. What we're gonna be doing today is we're going to a land before time. Hey, Baron, what does that mean? Normally, that means dinosaurs. Well, look at this. We've got pterodactyls over here on this little island. So they're gonna be flying around, but one of the things that I'm worried about is, look at this. I think this land over here is where we're gonna wanna put our base. Cause as you can see, we've got these like fortress-like walls, which are pretty awesome. This is the first time I'll get to use a fortress, but the creeper has this giant trench and there's some new things out there. There's something called a creeper stash. And then this thing looks ominously like a volcano. Could it be a creeper volcano? I don't know. So what I'm gonna be doing is materializing my base back here. Okay, so we're gonna unpause, we're gonna materialize, and then we're gonna start powering this up because I need access to these minefields over here. They call these mines, they're not the most uh, efficient looking mines. We'll put a tower here and another pylon here. And then that should give us access to start producing some miners. So at this point, look at this. These three little blue things are creeper spawners. I'm not entirely sure what happens when they get to the stash. When there's 2,000 of it, it'll just cause... Oh my gosh, that's accelerating. It's gonna cause a giant eruption, isn't it? And then once creeper gets over here, it's gonna start sending in bad guys. So I think the first thing we actually need to do, weapon-wise... Wait, do I need a factory? I probably do need a factory, don't I? But once the miners are done, our first miner's not even close to being done. I'm running a deficit already. So that first mine is essential. Look at this, the pterodactyls are flying around. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is gradually increasing. Is this just gonna cause a giant tsunami? There's two of them. And I think there might be one in here. I mean, why else would there be a giant hole in an otherwise impressive looking cliff? Okay, let's get the factory going. Oh, that means I'll need um, access to this red stuff. So we will try to put a tower there we go that'll get access to that which can oh gosh which will fuel my anti-aircraft batteries which will be very helpful oh my god the, it's erupting it's a creeper volcano it was and then there's this that's almost at 2000 this is this does not bode well for us so that way that means this is going to be active i need snipers then don't i i need weapon systems to deal with this we'll have a i could put a sniper here oh yep it just created a giant tsunami. Oh no, that's bad news. Pterodactyls, come over here. We will sustain you. Now, I need my missile batteries. I need one over here, and then I'll probably put one here, and then I'll put one near the mines, and I really need to start getting more mines up and running. Yeah, look at that giant flood. Okay, so this one's gonna be the first one. So our missile batteries, how many do we have done? We've got one done and two in production. The next weapon system we'll probably need is a sniper battery over near the mines to protect that. And then I think we're pretty good. And then what I can do is start creating our great wall. We're gonna have, it's, we're basically China right now. We're gonna create a great wall. We gotta recruit Matt Damon to fight the giant lizards, you know, cause obviously that's what happened historically. <laughs> Pterodactyl's like, hey dude, that's pretty cool stuff you got over here. Oh, oh, here we go. Okay, we've got incoming. Now, is that in the sphere? It is in the sphere. So our missile battery should shoot this one down. This one should not be a major threat. This one, however, is a miss. This one's landing inside the walls. Uh-oh, that's bad. Whoa, it still landed. Did our missile not take that out? All right, we clearly need a better anti-aircraft defense. We can put one up here. Oh, oh shoot. Yeah, these are the little creepy roach things. I've only got one sniper. Please, please shoot that one more time, one more time. Ooh. They come out of this thing right here. Volcano looked like it just erupted again. Uh, this is, this is bad. All right, this is gonna be a very nice forward operating base. I'm gonna get a, not a nullifier, we need a missile battery. And then I'm thinking at least one sniper, maybe two. Okay, and then over here, what I need to do is start producing. Oh God, it's flooding over. This is terrible. They're already sieging our castle in flooding over it. I'm gonna need some mortars up here. I'm, I'm running a mad deficit. If I lose access to these mines, it might just be over for us. All right, come on turrets, hurry up. I, I built like a ton at the same time, so that's probably part of the issue. Oh, brilliant air defense there. If we can survive these early moments right here when the first bits 
get over the wall. Uh oh, here come these things. Snipers? Oh, the snipers aren't done yet. Where are they going? Ah, oh no. Okay, that sniper took him out. Okay, we have turrets activated. There we go. But we're running an incredible deficit in production. There's a lot going on right now. If we can hold here. Come on, mortars. We need you online. I'm not sure why these turrets aren't shooting. There we go. Now they start firing. Okay, good. We've started firing against the creeper. So now I think if we can just hold back this spill over here, I'm going to need a tower and we'll just move you right here. Uh-oh. Multiple incoming. Multiple bogeys. We've got three. Can our missile system defend against all of them? Yes. And the third one is coming in slower. Oh. Oh, it just did. Okay. It almost made landfall. Oh, wow. The flood's intense. Dude, these roach things are getting in. Oh, man. We're, we're taking mad hits. Okay. I need a sniper system up here to defend these areas of the walls. My store is doing better. Okay, the mines are starting to, I think, pay dividends. We're still getting hit massively by those little, like, creeper roaches, I guess what we'll call them. Oh, big wave. Big tidal wave. This is insane. There we go. That should help. Look at that. This is nuts. We need massive amounts of mortars. Okay, so I need to put mortars here that will fire over the walls. All the while probably continually producing mines, which aren't getting the power they need. Is there a missile battery to defend against that shot? Yes, but just barely. <laughs> we are under massive attack. Creeper keeps flooding over the walls. But once we have our great wall set up, which, let's get back to doing that. That should mobilize most of the wall. Wait a second. It doesn't look like the mines are connected. They should be though. Am I running a deficit when I should be generating energy? All right, here come the incoming missile barrage. It looks like only two would make impact and both should be covered by missile defense. Able to shoot down incoming projectiles. Makes me feel very happy. This is the coolest single level I've ever played in Creeper World 4. Easily the best. I think it's mission number six or seven. Okay, look at this. We're starting to clear the Creeper that's hitting the walls here. This is a weak spot just because we're not able to produce enough ammunition. We're running a deficit. So let's get some more mines. They're just not efficient. See how... Well, we'll increase the generation of energy by a considerable amount in just a moment. <laughs> look at this pterodactyl just chilling over here. All right. Oh my gosh. Look at this. What killed the dinosaurs? Well, the creeper blue living wave did. Oh man. And every time it gets to 2000, it just... Okay, let's, let's watch. Because I think what it does is... Yep, it creates an explosion, a volcanic eruption of creeper production. Whatever reason it is, something about the stash just catalyzes it. Now, what we'll have to do is probably use these elevated points and build pylons up and, and use this area here to start shelling inside that. How do we destroy the creeper stashes? I'm not entirely sure. There we go. We're generating more. And so you can see our little trend here. Red is the amount of deficit I think we're running. So these lines are slowly getting closer to meeting, making me feel a lot better. All right, I think we're fully mined out over here. We have access to every resource, so we're gonna have to make this work. And we're actually pushing back, although there are these overflows. This guy somehow does not have munitions. Oh, that's why. There's no connection. I, I, I love how the pterodactyls are just like casually flying around like, it kind of sucks not being able to fly, doesn't it, huh? This is how we survive the creeper. Well, at least until all of like, until the creeper, what, covers all of the land there there is. Yeah, I produced a mad amount of mines over here. We'll turn one of these to blueite. All right, so now we're gonna make our first kind of like foray, a scouting party, so to speak, over here. It's just incessant shelling, incessant. So we'll put a gun installation right here to start carving out a little bit. And we've got guns here protecting them. We may also want a few sniper installations. And there we go, okay. I don't know how I'm gonna clear out this island. Probably just continuous mortar fire. Remember in the last one how we kind of had like a creeper D-Day, so to speak. We created a beachhead 
And then we just sent over the towers flying over there. I wonder, let's see. This is gonna be the key. If I can connect, I think I have to, unfortunately I'll have to connect. Oh, there's that to there. But you see how it's being flooded? All right, we're gonna do a little bit of a D-Day here. There we go. They're gonna land and start like firing up close and personal. Now this guy is not able to fire, so we'll move him up as well. Because I need to secure this platform here in order to take this high point hill. Then we can start chilling. Whoa. Jeez. I mean, is that just not absolutely insane? Look at this. Oh, this is actually a spot we could exploit. So we'll put an incredible amount of mortars over there. And we'll move everybody up. Gun turrets to your stations. They're the tanks. They move in. They are the front lines. And here we go. I think we've mostly secured this platform. I say that and right after that, it's like gets overwhelmed. Actually, I want you to land right here. It's kind of cheeky. And you, you're gonna land right there. Oh God, mortar, cover it. Okay, good. And they're in range. So that should allow us to put that there and then that guy there. Although he's gonna get hit by creeper, it looks like. Maybe there's a, a better one. There we go, that's how we do it. And we'll just put tons of mortar installations up there, I think. And we'll use existing mortars. Can I fit a third? Oh man, unfortunately not, just two. That's still pretty good. Now the only thing I'm really keeping in the back is the missile defense. I'm moving everything else to the front. We're gonna destroy that and put a pylon in its place, which doesn't work, uh-oh. Guess we'll have to destroy this guy? Actually, we don't have to destroy him, we can move him. Because I really feel like I need to put a pylon here. Yeah, that can work. I call them D-Day invasions because it's effectively like you're moving transport units into heavy, heavy defenses and they can take massive amounts of casualties if it doesn't go well. I'm trying to find like every nook and cranny on this mountain that I can use and it's unfortunately not a lot. And then look at that. How am I ever supposed to take this? I need to get my mortars in range so they can shell over the wall. This does seem to be the weaker side. We just have more of our firepower over right here. It's getting awfully close to where I want to produce a number of mortars. Where it's like we're attacking right in the middle, I guess. Mortars do seem to be the most effective weapon that we have. There's one more, but I don't know what it is. There's cannon, mortar, and then sniper. So it fits right here in the middle. I'd love to know what it is. I'm trying to think. I could imagine maybe like a minigun or a laser or something. Oh god, that's a giant tidal wave coming. It's about to spill over. <laughs> the no man's land is the hardest to hold, for sure. Oh no. Get ready for a colossal eruption of creeper. And then it floods over, but luckily the mortars should be able to do their jobs. Alright, these mortars right here have, I think, created an area where we can exploit a beachhead. I'll try to put the tower there and see if it can be built in time. I don't... It's not looking good. There's a giant wave coming. Can the mortars hold it? Oh, uh, no, they can't. Dang it. We could do a little one of these guys. Just a little one. It's like sending the rangers in, right? Uh-oh. I don't know if that'll work either. The mortars might be holding there. If he lands successfully, then I can start sending in more. We're banking on the fact that he'll hold and clear that spot. And now we have a foothold on that wall. If only I could arm these pterodactyls to like pick up bombs and send them over there. Like if I created like a refueling thing. <laughs> that would be kind of cool. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, yeah. Stop. Stop those waves. Okay. We have the foothold. Move in the mortars. From the Great Wall. Uh-oh. He's landing in a creeper. Oh, flood. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, no. Dang, they're taking damage. This one might blow up. He just barely survived. Unbelievable. And right before a giant tidal wave. So that's kind of scary. So I guess our left flank is actually where we're going to make our first bit of headway. I've got to subdue this stuff. It's unbelievable how much creeper there is on this. Look at how these mortars are just going to start stacking up there. But now that there's less fluid weight down there, I wonder if it'll spill over as effectively as it's been doing. Yeah, it still does. Even with a pretty decent amount of mortar fire. Uh-oh, we might... I think I need a turret like right here. We'll re-divert some of our resources from over here. Yeah, see now, now we're slowing down the rate at which the stash is getting... Oh, and if I can get in here and subdue that, that should be a er, uh, priority for sure. We're gonna need missile defenses up here. All right, what I'm gonna try to do now 
is nullify our first one. It's in a very dangerous spot though down there. So I think what we need is probably some close range cannons to ensure that that nullifier stays protected. It's gonna take a while. Huh! Look at this just tidal wave flooding in. Oh, I really don't want that to explode. Oh, we've nullified one. Brilliant. Ah, uh, we're starting the, the like mass fortification of this wall. Check this view out. You can see the supply lines just funneling ammunition and building materials. Ooh, that pylon was a little bit too risky, I guess. But the mortars are gonna start coming in here and we should be able to keep this stash from being. Now, if I could be cheeky breaky here, and I think I need a nullifier over here. How do I nullify that stash? Oh, you don't. Uh-oh. Okay, you don't nullify the stash. Now, why are these guys not being resupplied with ammunition? I think I must have lost a tower. The nullifier got taken out too. Oh my gosh. Okay, that was bad. I don't know how that happened. It did. This just went off. This could be a very... This could be a setback. We just gotta keep Creeper away from that stash over here. And then I want to get access to this liftic. I know I need it, but for what exactly? Are there any... I guess you use them to power up the shield generator. So here's a shield generator right here. So I should be able to get that liftic. This wall is just so fully armed right now. All right, it looks like we're going to be able to probably get down here and stop this guy. But where can I connect? Look at this massive wave! Oh, 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 no! Oh, we were just going to get in there and try to stop that. I love just the fact that, like, there's these just living waves. All right, we're going to move in some cannons to provide close gunnery support. Then the nullifier to nullify this threat, please. And then is there one more over here? Yeah, there should be one more on this side. And then we can basically control the no man's land that is the giant canyon and then fortify this wall here. And then we've got the creeper right where we want them. Facing extinction. And I actually like these a little bit better than the giant pylons, I think. Someone needs to stop this wave. I'm planning on landing here. This could be bad. <laughs> Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yes! We powered up a shield generator, which basically blocks this entire area. And then that'll allow me to put a giant pylon in here. And this will be probably our first bit to get on this wall over here. And we've got a foothold up here, holding that corner for us. So once again, the left flank is usually where we have the best progress, I guess. Now stopping this guy from exploding, this stash, is gonna be tricky. <laughs> Look at this massive aerial invasion. They're coming. Look at them all. They're doing it. That, that stash is going to explode and it's going to be dangerous for sure, but eh, maybe we'll be able to shoot it as it's forming. Let's see if this is going to be able to stop it. Now, one of the other things I need to do is keep remembering to account for what the snipers are used for. Snipers and missile defenses on the walls. And look at that. The stash is at a perfect stance. To oh, well, never mind. Foothold on the left. Looks like we're doing very well and we can get a foothold on the right. Can I get a pylon to connect that should be all that's needed to take full command of the grand canyon away from the creeper nullify that threat foo and soon this wall will be ours and all of these mortars oh yes the massive mobilization so now there's only one more tidal wave producer and that's the grand volcano in here it's like the mount vesuvius of creeper spewing destruction all right, what we need probably is a few more missiles. And we've got a network connecting that top layer. So now we're about to start just like the biggest airdrop we've ever done. Look at this. Nuts. <laughs> this is going to be so much destruction. I wonder how much energy we're going to be using at a near continuous rate. Okay, so that, that that's a bad idea. There was a giant wave that happened and it took out a lot of my towers. So now we'll start moving over here, I guess. That way, that way has been held up for a moment. We're gonna need snipers. And look at that, dude. Look at how much progress you can get. All right, I need to build a tower here and nullify this guy. Keep him from firing and then we don't need missile defenses near as much. And there we go. That's what a fully fortified wall looks like. 
Now we're gonna take command of this hill right here. This is hill 413 and we must hold it for the empire. There we go. That'll gain access to it. We'll send in the troops, the flying tanks to take this hill. Dude, look at that. Yeah, we're, we're doing, we're doing fantastic. Then I just need to keep this volcano inactive, inert. I think it's got one of these things in it, which essentially you just keep the creeper from getting in the stash and then it renders itself inactive, right? Now, how do we do this? I don't think it's gonna be enough to connect. Dang it. Those are like the two closest points we can get. Look at this supply line. And somehow we're producing enough to keep up with it. Uh-oh. Okay, good. We still have missiles back here. <laughs> I don't know how we get over there. It's not as easy as I thought it would be. Uh-oh. Okay, it did erupt. I'm not sure how it gets access to more creeper. I wonder if I will have to nullify it. Let's try to do a test. If I put the nullify- yeah, there's nothing to nullify there. There must be a lower tunnel that we can't see because it's under all of the creeper that gets access to it? I don't know. But that massive eruption is the biggest threat that we have right now. All right, we're gonna nullify the second artillery. Oh man, they just keep decimating my snipers. Now, if I could generate the liftic here, that would be very good at stopping them. Look at that. It's like, it's like the Minas Tirith of creeper defense. Although, instead of seven walls, it's like we've got three in a sense. <laughs> but still, that's quite considerable. And we're about to power up this shield generator if we have the liftic, which I think the only liftic supply is way over there. Oh man, that's too bad. Oh, never mind. It's powered up. I take it back. And then that shield generator pushes it back and look, it actually like forced the wave backwards. I like how you exert like a physical force against it. And now we're gonna have to create a new front line because we're outside of the range of all of our supporting artillery. Look at that wave just flooding around the volcano. It looks incredible. Oh, look at this. I'm doing something cheeky and trying to build on top of the volcano here. <laughs> Probably not very smart. Just know it keeps erupting and I want to try to silence it. Oh, there went our tower with the volcano erupting. Maybe we'll have to take out everything around the volcano. Because if I can't see it, there's really nothing I can do against it. There's this spawner in over here we could get to. So that should be the priority. They're still firing despite the futility of, futility of it all. But I do love how like, look at that. The starstruck background with this giant like shining plasma meteor looking thing coming in. We're about to generate a liftic shield over here. So that should be a big advantage in cornering it. Also gonna nullify the little like burrow tunnel where those weird gloopy roaches looking things attack us. We need 10 more liftic and the only liftic is away over here. I need a shield generator around here. That'd be perfect. All right, it's time to mobilize the entire Great Wall. We're moving in. We're tightening the circle. Every time I think we've never had a bigger mobilization, it's like, hey, we're moving in. Uh-oh, the volcano's erupting and we're like all around the base of it right now. But I think we're gonna have enough mortars to incinerate any incoming creeper. Although it does sound like stuff's exploding. What just happened back there? They just took out a nullifier behind our lines oh god that's that's actually very very massive that is terrible news okay uh i don't have anything back there no way oh my gosh dude that might impact our supply lines to the to the front jeez look at this poor guy help me get out of there oh no if it if it activates that how did that happen a mortar shot, I think. Wow. <laughs> right when you think you got the game in hand. Things are exploding left and right, dude. Okay, but we're, we're finally getting back on this. Dang, man. We lost one containment right there. I guess that's part of the problem with moving all of your units back to the front lines. We're doing a little bit of overkill here. But I don't want to have that happen again where we lose the momentum. I'm playing leapfrog with my towers is all I'm doing. I just gotta make sure they're continually supplied. We're almost there. Oh, don't don't keep erupting like that, dude. You're you're 
You're really cramping my style, alright? I'm gonna keep gun turrets around the base of this tower. Uh oh, these guys don't have enough munitions? That's a problem! Seems crazy. Are they just not getting supplied? Supplying to the front line seems to be an issue. <laughs> Alright, this thing posed the problem. He is target number one. Here we go. This looks this looks promising. Of course it looks promising! This thing just won't surrender. You can't make it surrender either. Uh oh, that tower's probably gonna get wrecked. Right in a moment. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Activate the totems, it says, huh? Those should both be covered by air defense. Let's go ahead and speed it up to see. Yep, both taken out in the air. I wonder if you could have like a control where you could just do a mass airdrop, like drag and select. Can I do that? Oh my god, yes I can. <laughs> That's beautiful, okay. I need to try that. Let's try this. I want you guys right there. You two, right there. You two, oh look at that. They even like auto grid and nullify. Okay, we're outside of, ooh, I didn't really think about that, which was dumb. We need to be in range of supply, otherwise we'll run out of munitions and we'll lose all of those units. Yeah, see how they're not firing and as a result, we're, we may be in trouble. It'll be temporary trouble, but trouble nonetheless. There we go, we finally got supply and a massive barrage of artillery later. I just realized we don't have anything stopping this. Our supply line is in jeopardy. Yep. Oh god. Just massive explosions happening. Luckily I have enough- oh no, this is bad. Uh oh. Supply line. Ooh. Objective's been obtained though. We've silent- we've no- okay, I want to nullify the enemies, because that's my other objective. I need a- I need immediate emergency supply line. All of these guys are like... There we go. It's happening over here now. Uh oh, I can't build that there. Uh... Haha! <laughs> Who would have thunk? I mean, anybody with a brain, except for me, apparently. Here we go. This is good. Now we can relink them all. Yeah, we're starting to lose them because they're running out of ammunition. This guy can't even- oh gosh, this is bad. This is bad, bad, bad. Get that supply link built! Hurry up! Here's the supply to build it coming in just very slowly. The amount of casualties we took because I just pulled way too much away. Now we should have the munition coming up here, right? Where's the ammunition coming? Oh no, there it is. It's a little bit delayed. All those mortars. Here, let's get them out of there. I mean, that's probably what we should have done a while ago. Is just massively do that. Unbelievable! Okay, here we go. Did we learn our lesson? We put gun turrets around the entirety of the base here. So, I think we should be able to hold. I put a tower there, it'll blow up, but it's fine. Because I have multiple supply networks this time. It's just a matter if we can hold back the velocity and weight of this wave. Probably need more assistance here, it seems. Some of our turrets on this point are taking damage. I also produced little, like, air force groups over here that I want to call in via, like, mass drop. Here we go. The mass drop over here. And we'll do it again, once that area clears out a bit. Alright, third division, move into the area, please. This is gonna be interesting. Look at- <laughs> I overlapped a ton of supply lines. <laughs> Just to ensure. Alright, so... We have that one done. We've got this guy nullified. We need to nullify this one. Maybe we just can't stop the creeper volcano. Volcano's going off again. Did I... I didn't shoot myself in the foot this time. Very happy with that. I'm doing a strategy of my own that's just creeping across the map here. I don't know how to contain the volcano though. Not directly anyway. We could try. Uh oh. Is this the right time to do that? I don't think so. We're gonna reland you. These two guys, you've gotta hold that point. Can you do it? Oh man, it, it doesn't it doesn't look too good, does it? There are they taking damage? They are taking damage. All right, we've nullified all the enemies, but I still want to just like dominate this. I think we need some more like closer range mortars to shell the inside of the volcano. If there's any ledge that I can put a tower on, I'm going to do it, but we're running out. Look, some of the mortars are actually going inside of it. Okay. We'll put a few mortars up close. Oh! It's activating! We're taking damage! I don't know if we can hold it. We don't have near enough mortars, and these things are not getting repaired, so they're just blowing up. 
Oh, oh my gosh. Well, we tried, okay? We, we've successfully beaten the mission. The issue was we can't contain the volcano. So this is probably the best we're going to be able to do. We're going to need some other weapon source. Anyway, guys, if you want to see more Creeper World 4, let me know. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. It's time to rift jump.